In today's video, we are taking a look at what happens when you pour molten aluminum into Coca-Cola. Guys, we've poured molten aluminum into and onto several different things in the past, and we've got another fun one today. Uh, it's Coca-Cola. We want to see if the sugar and other components in the Coke give us any sort of interesting or different reaction than we've seen when we poured it into, say, water. And uh, we think that it could be really entertaining to see. I'm curious if there's stuff in there that's going to burn. Absolutely. Well, the sugar alone. Yeah. Um, and so we've got a few different ways we want to try this. We've got a bunch of aluminum, some foil, some old blocks and ingots. We're just going to melt some stuff down. We've got a few different containers, including the glass bottles that Coke comes in originally, and we just want to see what it's going to do. What will happen when we pour molten aluminum into, onto, around? Let's all, see how many ways we can mix it up. All the adverbs. Coca-Cola. Woo! There we go. So the aluminum that we use is not always pure and sometimes it doesn't melt down quite so nicely. So we pull off what's called slag from the top and that's just these little sort of dry bits that don't melt down. I really want to touch it. You are going to die someday. <laughs> yeah. You are going to die of something that's entirely preventable because you had to touch it. Debatable. We've got some very nicely glowing molten aluminum and down Nate in there. And Nate is not going to do what I think he's about to do, which is just pour that directly into it from straight above. Yeah, maybe a little. Oh, well, fine. It's boiling excitedly. Yeah? That is a very <gasps> interesting look. That's beautiful. Let's uh, throw a little more on. Yeah, let me back up just a little. All of it. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. I've managed to fill the foundry with coke, not so much the crucible <laughs> Hang with on. aluminum. Yep, smells like burnt sugar in it here. It does. Glorious. I love that so much. So we've now formed a burned caramel on the surface of our aluminum. And in the foundry. And, yeah. That'll I, burn off eventually. Let's light this thing back up all and right. burn it all away. I'll be over here. Mostly just because it's 90 degrees and I don't want to be near that. We'll just let that go until all the sugar's burned off. Then we'll try our next experiment, which will probably involve pouring the aluminum into, into coke, coke instead of the other way around. <laughs> That's where I deliver my quest to people. There is like a biscuit of burned sugar. Biscuit of burned sugar, dibs on the band name. More tasty. Or in culinary terms, an extreme reduction. I don't think it counts as a reduction if nothing's left. Charcoal is not. Something's left. It's right there. It's an extreme reduction. I think this is going to sizzle, it's gonna pop. I think that the aluminum won't do much. I think the coke is going to burn. I think the glass is going to break. I do think the glass is going to shatter. But it's kind of an experiment of what happens before that, I think. True. And Nate is going to be pouring this, but while he is, he will be behind a mesh shield. So if the glass does decide to shatter and come this way, he'll be more or less protected from the glass itself. <laughs> hey, we were kind of right. Woo! And everything in the dome smells like burned sugar. And wood. It does. Burning the wood beam underneath it quite a bit. Wow. What a cool break, though. The top, 
Here, I thought it was gonna split in half. I did not think the bottom was just gonna pop out from beneath. I it. was kind of imagining the whole thing shattering to pieces. I think this particular piece of glass, especially with that thicker bottom, I thought that this had been a piece of Pyrex. So I was expecting, yes, sort of a shatter into dust or just a break apart in big pieces. Okay. <sighs> You gotta warn me when we're gonna turn on the floor. Warning. No. No. Nate, no. It's slightly warm. Huh. That's really, really cool. It was actually a little bit attached for a second. Yeah. All right, so we just tried pouring molten aluminum into a container of Coke with a very wide mouth. The results that we saw weren't as explosive as we were expecting them to be, so we're not very concerned, and now we're gonna try it into a Coke bottle. <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen for this one? Uh, pretty much the same. I suspect the glass is gonna shatter fairly quick. But... I do think this is a different type of glass. I'm pretty sure this is soda lime, so we'll see. Whoa! Neat. We had a molten aluminum fountain there. That was cool, yeah. It was spitting it back out. It was in the funnel, and then the coke started coming up, and so it pushed the aluminum back out, <laughs> and we're melting our tripod just a little bit. Our funnel is steel, so it should survive, but it might just have aluminum attached to it forever. All right, so we've tried two different closed containers. We tried the large mouth vase. We've tried the open Coca-Cola bottle. I want to try a closed Coca-Cola bottle on its side. Before we do that, we have this empty one. I just want to pour a little bit of aluminum right on that. All right. And see what it does. There's no liquid inside, but I'm guessing it's still going to crack the glass more. That'd be cool. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like the delay. Like it settled on there and then it was like, aha! Thinks about it, thinks about it, and Surprise! Nope. I want that cool down just a little bit before I put our closed bottle on it. Okay, so for our first bottle, we're just gonna have it on its side. We're gonna pour the molten aluminum straight onto it. It is a closed container. The second container will also be closed, but we're gonna make it a little bit different. Oh boy. It's gonna be great. Huh. Wait for it. Think you need to pour it? Whoa! I'm so glad you were behind a barrier. Pretty sure little bits of boiling Coca-Cola landed on me. Okay, so even behind the mesh screen that protected Nate from the glass, it did not protect it him was, from- It was delayed. Like I think it literally yes. like went up and landed on me. So it nothing did. nothing came at me. I would say that that actually shattered the bottle much more completely than the Solar Scorcher did. Might so have. I've shaken this bottle, but due to safety reasons, I think that's gonna be our only go here. I think that's a good plan. And honestly, that was amazing! That was pretty great. <laughs> so technically here is about the only place where I can throw a glass bottle against a wall and not get in trouble for it. And we don't want to waste a perfectly shaken bottle of Coca-Cola, so... You ready, Nate? Ready. Three, two, one! <laughs> that was a pretty good pop. <laughs> Woo! Was even happier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm thrilled. Guys, that was pretty fun. Is there anything else that you want to see us drop into molten aluminum? Because we're having a lot of fun. Or do you want to see us drop molten aluminum into anything else? You let us know. If you want to see our latest video, click that box up at the top and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.